The Amazon is one of the most intriguing places on Earth. Larger than you might think, it's fit to burst with all manner of creepy creatures. These are the 20 deadliest monsters of the Amazon. Number 20. Green Anaconda Snakes of the world come in all kinds of different shapes, sizes, and colors, but none can top the pure length of the green anaconda, which you can indeed find in the Amazon, and you better hope that you never have to tangle with. This is why you should never be alone in the Amazon. The average size of this snake can vary at times, being between 18 to 20 feet, but at its maximum, the anaconda can even get up to 33 feet long. Now, weight-wise, they can have around 550 pounds on them, so it is a very large snake, and that's only the beginning of why you should fear it. One thing to note right off the bat is that while this snake is long and powerful, they don't have venom like many other snakes. What's more, they do live in rivers and swamps, and in places like the Amazon, and they are not known to eat humans overall. And as for the animals that they do like to eat, that would be deer, caiman, crocodiles, fishes, turtles, and more. What's intimidating about them, though, is that the green and Anacondas are ambush predators. They'll wait for their prey to come to them and then they'll strike, usually by wrapping their bodies around their prey and squeezing them to death in a great big hug. As noted, they do have long and heavy bodies, so a few coils and squeezes would be all it would take to bring down an animal of decent size. That also includes a human, you know. They do like to be upon the more shallow waters of the Amazon River and other bodies of water, and this allows them to sneak up on their prey even easier easier, as they're going to blend into the water without much effort. That's right, they can swim, and they're honestly pretty good at it. Now sure, they don't go after humans, but would you really want to be the one that takes a chance with it? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Paraba Catfish We'll stick with creatures in the water for a little bit because now we're going to talk about a catfish, which at first doesn't really seem like something you'd want to look out for or even have to fear. But don't forget that there are people who catch catfish for a living and they're pretty good at what they do. But you forget a basic fact in all of this. Those are catfish that you're meant to catch for things like competitions. This kind of catfish though, on the other hand, is a well and true monster of the Amazon River that can grow to such such sizes that it's even rumored to have once swallowed a man whole. While that may sound ludicrous at first, you need only to watch the show River Monsters to see what legendary catcher Jeremy Wade got, because he followed these legends, and after some very rough moments, including one with some black caiman, he was able to catch one of these catfish that was 250 pounds. As the picture shows, it was so big and long that it had to be held by three different people. That's a very large catfish, and yes, I'm sure that it'd make a great seafood platter. Apparently, though, they can get even bigger than that. According to some of the legends, they can actually grow to be twice the length of the one that Wade caught and weigh nearly 400 pounds. So if one of these plus-sized catfish were to hit you, you would absolutely know it, and you would absolutely regret it. Number 18. Amazonian Giant Centipede and now for something that's definitely going to make everyone's skin crawl, I'm going to talk about the Amazonian giant centipede, a thing that's so massive that nobody really wants to talk about it any more than they have to. If not already obvious, the Amazonian giant centipede is the largest centipede in the world today, which is already a scary thought because they can honestly grow pretty big when they want to, and this proves it. The giant Amazon centipede will hunt anything from other arthropods to amphibians, mammals, and reptiles, which includes snakes that are equal to or larger than their size. And if you don't believe me, they've even been caught going after bats before. They do this by climbing the walls of caves, they grasp onto the bats with the front legs while using the back legs to secure themselves to the cave wall. Astonishingly, they're able to hold on for prolonged periods of time, even while eating. Once secured, they then inject their prey with a paralyzing venom. Oh yes, did I? 
I forget to mention that this centipede has venom, because it absolutely does. And what happens when a human gets bitten by one of these creatures? Well, they get seriously injured and could even possibly die. No joke, if you aren't in the best condition when you come across this centipede's bite, you could well and truly die. More times than not, you'll be fine though, probably. Except when you realize that these things usually hunt at night, so if you're out for a stroll or you don't have enough protection as you rest in the rainforest, it might crawl onto you and say hello in its very terrifying way. Number 17, Piranha. Now you knew it was only a matter of time before we got around to talking about the piranha, so why not get them out of the way early? The piranha is a fish that's characterized by its razor-sharp teeth that can bite through nearly any living thing. You've likely seen shots of the victims of said fish, and there's nothing left but the bones. But that's not an exaggeration. It actually happens because they feast in swarms and thus leave nothing behind. Furthermore, their size can be imposing as they can get up to two feet in length at times, and one one can only imagine the fear that someone or something sees when they spot the swarm coming towards them and they have only moments to react. Now to be absolutely clear on something though, piranhas do not openly attack humans. They'll bite them, sure, but they don't usually eat humans for one very simple reason. Piranha actually prefer their prey to be weak and easy to kill. That way they can't resist the swarm that's descending upon them and murdering them. Humans are also a bit larger than the typical prey that piranhas to go after, so as long as that person is smart, they can actually get out of the water, which leaves the piranha hungry. Another thing that needs to be noted here is there isn't a single species of piranha. In fact, there are actually several within the regions of South America where they live. And in fact, not all of them solely eat meat. Some are even herbivores, some are omnivores, and yes, there are those meat eaters, like the red-bellied piranha. Granted, you likely will not be able to tell the difference in the waters of the Amazon River where they reside, so you'll need to be on guard, or else you may end up being eaten. Number 16. Black Cayman We'll begin with a true terror that, like the Amazon itself, cannot be ignored and must be respected. Now, this is why you should never be alone in the Amazon. Black Cayman resides in the Amazon rainforest, and it's an incredibly long river, and it's considered to be the biggest threat to people who come to the area, because this alligator is not afraid to attack if it feels a meal is close by. Equally as important is their size, as they can be 20 feet in length. While this isn't the biggest croc in the world, it is the biggest gator, and that size is more than enough to dominate most prey in the area. In fact, Black Cayman is one of the apex predators of the domain, and few can tangle with it, or even want to try to mess with it. It will go after fish and birds, mammals, and even people if they're close enough. There are even confirmed attacks of the Black Cayman upon children, which is not something that anyone wants to hear. Like many other crocodiles or alligators, the black caiman is known strictly as an ambush predator. It'll wade in the waters of the Amazon River and its tributaries, and then slowly sneak up on the animal that it wants to eat, and then bum rush its prey and grab it in its mighty jaws. Equally as important, though, is that it will choose to hunt at night and use the colors of the water and area to blend in even more, making it even harder to discern before it lashes out to strike and murder you. This is considered the worst threat that you you could face in the Amazon River, and it's not hard to see why most want to steer clear of it. Number 15. Mata Mata Turtle now, you might not have expected a turtle to be on this list, but we actually have a few to talk about. And while it's true that these aren't turtles that you'll have to fear as a human, if you're one of the creatures going after it or being targeted by it, that's a completely different story. First off, we'll talk about the look of the Mata Mata turtle, because it's one that shows just how well adapted that the creature is to the world of the Amazon that it lives in. You see, it knows that it's not the biggest or even strongest out there, so it's shaped and colored its body over time so that it'll perfectly blend into the murky and muddy terrain of the Amazon River. Thank you. 
and it won't just swim in the water, it'll actually bury itself in the mud if it has to in order to stay safe and be able to get a good hiding spot for prey. This is where the true fear-inducing part of this turtle comes into play, because what it does is wait for the prey to come to it, or it'll slowly get behind it and then inflate its mouth to get even bigger than it was before, suck the animal in, and then swallow it whole. It is a very efficient and incredibly terrifying process. What's also scary from a scientific perspective is that there's still a lot that we don't know about this turtle, which means that it could have even more features that nobody exactly is informed about at the present. Number 14. Hayara Fish now, if you think the piranha are the only fish in the waters of the Amazon that have a very mean bite, then you're seriously underestimating the ecosystem of the place. Case in point is the payara fish, which may not be as famous as the piranha, but definitely has a bite that is to be feared via its fangs that they have. Now yes, it's true, these fish have fangs that are massive, so massive in fact that their mouths are actually born with gaps in between certain parts just so that they can be ready for the fangs to come. That's terrifying in its own right. Oh, and then when you actually measure the fangs, you're going to find out very quickly that they can sometimes be six inches long. That's more than enough to impale just about anything that it bites down on, thus making its meals very easy to come by. This was actually one of the first fish that Jeremy Wade ever caught on River Monsters, and when you look at it, it looks like something from a horror film, and yet it is entirely real, and it's something that can very much get you if you're not smart. As for how big the fish is as a whole, it measures to be about one and a half feet in length, just a bit shorter than your maximum length piranha, but do recall, piranha don't have those fangs, so who's really coming out on top in this one? Number 13. Electric Eel the electric eel is also known as the knife fish, and it's a very dangerous river monster that everyone should be aware of for various reasons, and yes, it is found in the Amazon River. Are you beginning to get a better picture of just how dangerous the place is now? The electric eel has not one, but three different organs in its body that can produce an electric charge. It has such a powerful electric charge that it truly can kill an adult human instantly in certain cases, which is more than enough of a reason to avoid it. The reason that it can deliver such a fatal shock is due to it being able to discharge people with 500 volts of electricity. Though, to be clear, standing in water does help the jolt to kill a human, but since you'll find them in rivers, that still makes it incredibly dangerous and likely a possible scenario for your death. The electric eel resides solely in the Amazon River and the Orinoco River in South America, but it's also stated to be one of the deadliest creatures that lives in that area because of its electric power and the fact that they're able to hide in the river rather easily and thus jolt you before you'll even know that it's there. To be clear though, usually death by an eel is an accident via the person actually stepping on one and getting a jolt. They don't actively seek to shock people, but then again, you wouldn't want to take your chances either. Number 12. Kandaroo the fish known as the Kandaroo has a rather interesting legend that's associated with it, one that you will definitely not expect given all the creatures that I've talked about so far on this list. But once you hear it, you'll never want to chance it happening to you. Now, allegedly, there is a case of a man having to have surgery because he got one of these fish inside of him. But how did that happen? Well, the story goes that the kandaroo was so small that when the man went to urinate in the Amazon River, it went up his urethra and basically became a parasite inside of him. Because you ask, there is a chance that this did actually happen. There are cases of kandaroo being up to 7 or even 16 inches in length. However, many more are documented as being much, much smaller and possibly even being small enough to insert itself into a human. And the case of of the surgery is documented and is real, but that doesn't mean it was fully accurate in terms of 
how that kandaroo got into the man's body. However, it should be noted that it is indeed a parasitic creature, as it'll use its spines to attach itself to fish via their gills and then drink their blood. But no doubt some of you may be wondering, but can it enter the body that way? Well, that's part of the story and the mystery that many people don't buy, and for good reason. To insert itself via the man's urination is not only oddly specific, that's a lucky shot at best. All it would take is one break in the flow and the kandaroo wouldn't have even been able to enter. But as with stories like this, people revel in the wow factor and instead of the logic. Number 11. Bull Shark this one might honestly surprise you because if you think about it, sharks are typically creatures that exist in the ocean. And thus, since the Amazonian rainforest is very much inland, you'd be safe from sharks there, right? Well, actually wrong. Because a lot of people forget that certain sharks, like the bull shark, are able to live in both salt water and fresh water. This even includes places like Australia, as well as the Amazon River, where attacks have been recorded in countries like Peru. And make no mistake, this shark it will take you out. While great white sharks are the most feared shark because of the movie interpretations of them, the bull shark is said to be even more of a fatal shark, with over 27% of their attacks on humans being fatal. So finding and tangling with this shark while you're likely on a small boat in the Amazon, that's not exactly advisable. Furthermore, scientists have noted that these numbers are not fully accurate because it's actually quite hard to distinguish the bull shark from other types of sharks due to its coloring and size. Thus, the river monster could have more deaths under its belt and we wouldn't even know about it. Plus, on top of all that, the biggest reason that people should fear the shark is that they're overly aggressive and unpredictable. They'll take any slight indication as a reason to lash out, which is why so many people have been hurt by them. Not not something you really want to hear, that sharks could have more fatalities than we realized. But let this be a final piece of proof for you overall that the Amazon River is a place of death due to all the creatures that live there, big or small, you can get got in that body of water. Number 10. South American Rattlesnake Earlier I showed you a snake that can constrict you to death, but how about one that's a little more... Mm, venomous. Meet the South American rattlesnake. These are pit vipers, and like with other rattlesnakes, you don't exactly want to get too close to their homes or resting spots. They'll coil up their bodies and make a hissing sound to let you know that they are aware of you, and if they think you're not going to leave, they'll bite you and inject you with venom. That venom and its power do differ depending on the snake you're getting bit by, but in many cases, it can result in impaired vision or complete blindness, auditory disorders, ptosis, paralysis of the peripheral muscles, especially on the neck, which becomes so limp as to appear broken and eventually life-threatening respiratory paralysis. That sounds like a whole lot of things that nobody wants to deal with overall, so you should probably just stay away from this snake. Number 9. Sawfish. Would you like to guess how this creature got its name? Just take a moment and think about it. You know, saw, fish, all right. As you can see, the creature has a protrusion that very much looks like a saw, and thus the sawfish was named. But it's more than just a, oh wow, that's different kind of thing. The saw is the key to catching and killing its prey. In addition to its use as a weapon or digging tool, the saw has small pores that can actually detect electric fields that are produced by prey. This super sense is common to sharks and rays alike, and when you see video of it sawing through the ocean floor to help get the prey out of it, it's honestly rather impressive. It may not be something that humans have to fear overall, but you wouldn't want to get whacked by that thing anytime soon. Number 8. Haku Fish now I'm going to change it up a little bit for you because this is a fish that has gotten a bad reputation that it doesn't really deserve. You see, the Paku fish is related to the piranha family, which as noted earlier is one of the most dangerous fish in the entire world and could completely murder you. As such, people think that the Paku are just as evil, but they're honestly not. In fact, they usually only eat plants and nuts, which brings us to their teeth. 
Yeah, they do honestly have teeth that look just like a human's, and that creeps a lot of people out, myself included. The reason for these teeth, though, is that they can bite down on the harder stuff like the nuts that sometimes fall into the water. Number 7. Giant Amazon Leech now, for something that really sucks. Leeches are a species of creature that most people know to avoid. But when it comes to finding them in rivers, there are few more dangerous than that of the giant Amazon leech. You should truly fear this thing for its size because it can grow up to be about 17.7 inches in length and be 4 inches wide. That's just really dang big. And I'm just gonna say it out loud, it's too dang big. Plus remember, they're also parasites. They'll latch onto your body and won't let go unless you do the proper removal technique, which with this one might take some time because it's that dang big. One of the main ironies of the giant Amazon leech was that in the late 1800s, it was thought to be extinct, and then some more would be found, and one was brought to a university named Grandma Moses, which, along with its 750 children, were studied very closely. Number 6. Giant Otter the next creature is one that you might not have even known existed in this form. The giant otter is exactly what it sounds like. It's an otter that is a giant, over six feet long in fact, and weighs quite a bit, much bigger than the adorable little otters that you see at the zoo or on the Discovery Channel. Is this creature dangerous to humans though? Well, humans seem to think so, as they've gone after the otters for decades and have driven their population numbers way down. What's more, if you were to anger them, the giant otter is more than capable of knocking over boats with its mass. However, make no mistake, the real danger is humans to the otters and not the other way around, those who not only want to hunt them, but also to wreck their habitats, making it even harder for them to live in the Amazon. Number 5. Stingray Here's a creature of the depths that you should not need a whole lot of explanation on in terms of why it's terrifying and a dangerous thing. Stingrays are creatures that have spines on their tails that they'll use to be able to stick it to their foes no matter who they are or what their true intentions are. What's more, because those spines can be thin yet powerful, they could pierce your body in ways that will really affect you. This is what occurred to Steve Irwin while studying them for a show. They were able to pierce between his rib cage, and thus it killed him. Now, like other creatures on this list, as long as you don't provoke them, you should be fine. But do give them a wide berth. You're probably going to live much longer that way. Number 4. Decoy Building Spider if you've followed this channel for a long time, you know that spiders are something that we absolutely hate. And so imagine my surprise and horror when I found out that there's something called a decoy building spider out there in the Amazon. I am absolutely not amused. Because this is a spider who is apparently so smart that it actually takes insect corpses and other traps and then goes to great lengths to make a decoy so that predators and other things will go for that instead of the main spider. Spider. Why is this not amusing? Because spiders shouldn't be that smart. That means that they know the concept of a decoy and what they look like, and they're skilled enough to build things beside their webs. Do I even have to tell you that you should worry about spiders and their abilities? The line has to be drawn somewhere, right? Number 3. Arapaima Known to be 9 feet and 200 pounds at time, the Arapaima is one of the biggest fish that you'll find in the Amazon River. And here you thought that you were done being terrified. Well, how wrong you were. What might make them even more interesting, though, is that they're known for being armored, which means that they're one of the top dogs there due to how few things, if anything, can actually pierce their shell. Curiously though, they do need to surface in order to survive. As such, they live very close to the surface while in the Amazon River and surrounding lakes because they need to literally come up for air, even making a coughing sound when they breathe it in. However, make no mistake, these are big, heavy, armored, and willing to kill you kind of fish, so just do your best to keep away from it. Number 2. Poison Dart Frog 
It may honestly surprise you to learn that one of the deadliest creatures in all of the Amazon is a very tiny frog. It is true, and the poison dart frog is not one that you want to meet ever. The frog would originally be found in Colombia and quickly made a name for itself by murdering everything that it touched. But how? Well, because this is a frog species that excretes numerous kinds of poison via its skin, which includes the most dangerous toxins of all, tetrodotoxin. That's the same toxin that the pufferfish has to give you some perspective. The thing is so toxic, in fact, that animals know to fear it, and it took a while for humans to get the hint as well. So they eventually took the frog, and they would use its toxin to make poison darts, hence the name. Number 1. Jaguars. Finally, we end this list with something that many of you were likely wondering if I would talk about, the big cats. Most continents in the world have at least one, and in South America and the Amazon rainforest, they have the jaguar. Easily one of the apex predators of the region, their sleek bodies are known to be able to wade through the brush and trees of the area to ensure that they don't get held up in a hunt. In fact, they're known for their stealth tactics and then blitzing their prey when they see it. One thing to be clear on, though, is that while jaguars will go after a human, it's usually after being provoked. That's because they actually know that humans are bad for them, and thus they'll run away when they see them or even hear them coming. But like I've said so many times on this video and others, it's just best not to tempt fate. That's all from the depths of the Amazon and the beings that live within it. Were you shocked and terrified by some of the creatures that exist within its rainforest? And which of these did you honestly not know about being there until this video? Or do you know another deadly creature that I've forgotten to mention? Do let me know in the comments section down below. Also check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.